come to Perth, they said, it never rains. Hi guys, Dave from 44 Golf. I'm just getting around to editing a video that I shot two weekends ago on a Sunday. It was actually on my birthday. Um, weather's not been great in Perth, as you can see. And uh, yeah, it's been tough to get out as much as I'd like. But, uh, but now I have this bad boy. I can actually take my phone out. It's completely waterproof. I mean, look at that. It's insane. It also weighs a ton. But I suppose if you were going actually underwater with it, that would be great. So this, unfortunately, I didn't have when I went out. Um, so it was shot on my other camera inside the housing. And so there's no audio. Um, and uh, so I've had to do a voiceover for that. So hopefully that's okay. And, uh, you know, you enjoy the video. If you do, hit that thumbs up. Hit the subscribe if you haven't already done so as well. And leave a comment. Hopefully your golf's going well. I'll see you again soon. Hey guys, thanks for joining me on my birthday at Sun City on the first hole here. So 340-ish yard uh, meter par four, off and around to the right hand side. Got a pretty good drive away. Uh, was quite pleased with it. We thought it was going to carry the bunker, but unfortunately, just grabbed it. I'll just show you the difference that editing can make here. It's very gloomy, very cloudy. You can make it look so much better, so much nicer, but. Um, it really didn't look like that. So a good 9-iron on this from 130-ish. Unfortunately, I did manage to find the greenside bunker. So chipped that one out and had a run for par at it. Um, as this comes down, you'll just notice there's two red lines that I'm actually lining the ball up with just to try a different way of marking it and, and try and see the roll a little bit better. So you see that just there unfortunately wasn't able to make the part it was probably a good effort from where it was um, a little bit of a misread uh, and uh, on to the next at one over um, so the next one's drivable um, most days uh, 260 meter I mean it's a good hit but, but it is drivable a um, uh, little bit of wind around as you can see it really wasn't a pleasant afternoon to be playing golf at all but uh, it's better than doing anything else so Left the face open a little bit on this one and actually made it over onto the other fairway and had about 74, 75 metres in. Uh, taking the sandwich for that. Got it a little bit heavy um, and into the wind as well, but uh, managed to find the front of the green. Wind was coming uh, through and the rain at this point as well, so um, questioning why I was actually out there uh, at this point. Managed to make par there, as you can see, yeah. So I drive that, I didn't really get all of it. Um, decent recovery, and, uh, and then two putts, so to stay at par. So on to the third, um, 150 metre par three. Um, hitting uh, eight, actually, into this one, and uh, just because the wind behind helping a little bit. Got the distance right, but the uh, the line was off, and I found myself uh, it actually landed up on the green and uh, rolled off to this point. You can see the slope there, so took a uh, took a chip from there. You can see actually the sun did come out at this point, and it looked quite nice, but that didn't stay the same. So another good view of the the marking lines that I've got on here um, as this putt rolls down. So I had maybe 10 feet, something like that, for par, look great, and then just moved at the end. So uh, tap that one in, but a bogey, and back to two over. On to the fourth, long par five, um, you know, uh, around about 500 uh, meters. And got a really good drive away, um, and uh, just caught the, uh, the, the edge of the fairway, it was just hanging on the edge. Um, and I had about uh, 175 saves in the air. It was a pretty good, uh, pretty good drive that I got out there. Um, and good contact with that one, so he did it right out in front of the ball. Managed to find a bunker, so three if we're counting. Uh, sandwich just to get out of here. Got that one out nicely. 
rolled up to around about 10 or 12 feet, something like that. Rain had stopped by now, uh, but you'll just see the, uh, the way this one rolls so much straight up the lines and it showed and dropped in for birdie. So got back to one over and uh, onto the fifth hole. So tighter driving hole this one, so just taking two iron, um, trying to hit it low, back into the wind now as well. Um, so that did okay and uh, uh, left me about 150 um, into the flag. So hitting a seven iron, again now into the wind. Just wasn't happy with this one. You see me looking right and that's because I left the face open a little bit. Annoyed with myself on that one. Over in the dense undergrowth here and couldn't see the flag. So the right hand side of the green as I was looking at it was all I could aim for. And to be fair, I was pretty pleased with the result. That wasn't too bad at all from where that was. So um, I had a putt for par here. And as we'll see, it just never had the legs. So disappointing that I didn't at least get that to the hole, but um, managed to tap in, take five, and uh, on to the next, but back to plus two. On to the sixth which is a par four, around 400 meters, dog legs around to the left. I look a little off balance here, that'll be because I was off balance trying to hit a draw, but I did manage to pull it off and left it in the middle of the fairway with 160-ish into the flag. Hit a fantastic six iron that was all over it. You'll see me eyeing that up there and uh, seeing exactly how close that had gone from uh, from from way out um, so I had another birdie putt um, and uh, this one was probably about eight or ten feet something like that downhill and I never hit it and I was not happy so tap that one in for four which on this hole second hardest on the course you'll take most days um, always frustrating when, when you have that opportunity though so on to number seven uh, taking iron again off the tee here it moves around to the left at, at, at about 200 so I was just really trying to get it um, leaving a shot into the green here so I had wind behind and driver just probably would have been too much so uh, I cut slightly across the ball there as you'll see and uh, left myself close to the right rough more than achievable to get the green and topped it gutted absolutely gutted a worst shot I hit all day by a mile uh, so I had about 40 left into the flag and this green sloped severely from left to right as we're looking at it so I just tried to land that um, up and run it up and just really didn't get the run um, got it a little bit fat as well so I had about 25 feet it was looking good for a long time but tailed off at the end and you'll see even on this part on the way back um, how severe this slope is that the camera just does not show but uh, that nearly didn't make it as well so um, but bogey back to plus three as you'll see the rain started hammering down at this point so I sought shelter and, uh, and just left the camera out to, to capture this beautiful wind considered going home but I had to walk the last two holes to get back to the clubhouse anyway so when it stopped carried on at uh, 170 into the flag from this one thin to win which ended up running all the way up along the fairway through the green um, to the back of it and I'm carrying about 180 I think and then uh, or traveling 180 had a putt downhill moving a little bit to the right as we're looking at which uh, didn't quite hit, but it's quite easy to go 10 foot past if you if you do get the speed wrong on that one. So was quite pleased with par again there, and uh, and then on to the last. So um, tough tough hole the um, the ninth. Apologies, looks like I didn't clean the uh, the camera lens there. Got a good start in line, decent swing, but the contact was all off. And uh, you'll see me checking that out down the left-hand side. And that's where I've got it, out of the toe. In the rubbish on the left, um, not much choice but to try and hack it out. But to be fair, I've got 
an absolutely fantastic com, uh, contact on it and, and carried a six iron, uh, seven iron about 170 to, to get to the middle of the fairway here and had 135 in. Good strike, but got it moving in the wrong direction. Needed to draw off of that line and, and got a fade and uh, left myself in the fourth bunker of the day. Got the uh, got out again. Um, I mean, I was in four bunkers, but I got out of every single one of them effectively. So I was, was happy about that. And had myself uh, a par putt here. Um, rolled it up, uh, but didn't make it. And you'll have to take my word for that because the camera actually died on the battery for me there. So overall, pretty pleased. Four over was a good result. Okay, guys, so hopefully you liked that video. Just a reminder, if you did enjoy it, hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, Comment below with how you're getting on as well and I'll see you again next time.